Open. George's Open this year, it's the anti-golf tournament, golf tournament. We're gonna come out here, we're gonna be in our finest Sunday best. We're gonna have cheeseburgers, sheer wine, we got Spam, Twinkies, Slim Jims, gourmet cuisine, we only shop the best. Then we don't do no golf attire. As you can see, we, uh, we dress appropriately for the golf course. Appropriate, we don't wear golf shoes. We don't wear collared shirts. We don't wear khaki pants, boots, flip-flops, camouflage, anything that's got a dip stain on it, that's perfect. And that's what's to be expected at the third annual Nice Jorts Open. And we have Chris Ward and Jeff Whitaker here to tell us more about it. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, George, golfing, whole new experience. Why did you guys decide to do this? We live in the golf tournament capital of the world. And when Nice High School reached out to some alumni and said we want to raise some money, uh, we want to do a golf tournament, we said let's do something totally different. And uh, this was an idea we thought of, and um, it's turned out to be very successful those first two years. Now, this is interesting because you guys both play D1 sports. You're Gators, mm -hmm. yep. correct? I don't want to make sure I got the school right. But, I mean, I, I don't know about your age, but my age, we didn't have to worry as much about fundraising. But you guys have taken that and put your own spin on it. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, we both went to Nice, and this was a golf course we had to drive by every time. And so it's part of, like, our, our heritage. It's almost like a landmark. So I figured what way to get back. But then the courses we played as kids. And it goes down at Palm Valley. <laughs> you guys drive by it every day. I'm sure when you guys first proposed the idea, were they like, what? They were, but you know, Chris's parents actually built that course with their hands, and it's a, it's a, it's a landmark. We all know Palm Valley, and so when alumni come back, we all know that course. And to be able to give back to that course, and also to, um, just, it, like he said, it's the heritage. We all know it. Um, it's something we can all relate to, and it's, it's a great time we have out there. Now, you guys stress it's only nine holes, so you're not staying away from the family all day, but it might not be a bad thing to bring some of the young the family out if they want to hang out. But what can people expect besides the golfing? Because you made mention that there are stretches where uh, there's no playing through. Yeah, there's a DJ going to be out there and we're going to music on the whole course. Um, there's going to be holes with spams and Twinkies. And it's just going to be a, a big wild event where you have cornhole, maybe you're waiting, there's actually a, a dance contest or a, they're going to judge you on your clothes and that's going to be one of your scores out there. So um, it's going to be pretty crazy. It's not a normal golf tournament for sure. Mm -hmm. And you had me at spam because I do <laughs> like to eat. And it's going to be a great event. You guys have grown every year that you've done it. How many are we hoping for? I mean, there's always a certain number. Mm -hmm. Last year we had about 80 golfers. This year we'll have well over 100 golfers out there on a nine hole par three course <laughs> that is genius yeah. so uh i've got my jorts uh, there's an image of me uh already prepared so i'm gonna have to come out there take my my little swing out there and maybe get down for some spam if people want to know more information where do they go to register you can go to the nice golden panther booster club site which is nice n-e-a-s-e g-p-b-c dot org that's golden panther booster club all right, well, we're going to link to our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Thank you guys for joining us for, or should I say, George?